We have a, a tactical aspect and we're focused on staying alive and saving other soldiers. On any given day, you could walk into the combatives gym on Fort Benning and see soldiers engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And while they look like they're being trained to be fighters, they're really learning to survive. I'm going to guide his arm out right, and I'm going to drive that blade of my forearm into that nerve bundle. Everything that they, they learn here are life-saving skills. It's not a sporting event. It's an actual tool. It's, it, it's an integral part of what we do as soldiers. Uh, we all signed up to defend our country, and that's part of, part of defending our country is having these life-saving skills and returning home from a mission. It's a life-saving skill that every soldier should have. Fighting may be what you see, but if you look closer, these students are walking through their moves slowly. The basic course, or level three, is a train-the-trainer course. The students in this course are physically and mentally capable of fighting, but what they learn here is how to teach that same competency. It's a very physical, demanding course. When you come here, you're supposed to be able to go back and teach the masses or out at the force. So it's not just a matter of how strong you are, it's also how smart and how well you can instruct. It may seem like there's an awful lot of fighting for an instructor's course, but combatives is an entirely hands-on art, and in order to know you're proficient enough to teach it, you need to get hands-on. The other thing I don't want to do is take my pistol and put it on his head. We show the technique so that they have the right way as an example, and then we step-by-step -step instruct so they know every step that you're going through, and then uh, why we teach those certain steps, like why use this grip. That way they can take that same step-by-step -step process and take it to their soldiers when they're training. One of the most intense parts of level three is the tactical scenario, where students form a squad, utilize the techniques they've been taught, and go through a realistic combat situation. They do this as an example of a scenario they can utilize in training when they are the ones instructing. Traffic control points is a particular scenario. Patrolling is one, enter clearing rooms is another. So there, there are many ways uh, that we can integrate it in. Get him down! If it's not practiced and it's not integrated, then they will not have necessarily that knowledge or a safer way to engage the enemy. Get out. Get out. Watch his head. While the tactical scenario is the culminating event, the teachbacks are what decides if a student goes home an instructor. Now, as we pull across, if our opponent knows what we're about to do, he's going to drop his chin. The soldier needs to, to do these teachbacks and be able to understand not just the how to do the technique, but the why they're doing the technique. And then they can execute and not just teach, but assist other soldiers who are having difficulty executing a move. The Level 3 Combatives course teaches soldiers who are already proficient in the moves, refines those skills, and adds the ability to instruct other soldiers. As we continue to highlight the Combatives course, we'll move to Level 4, where soldiers still learn to instruct, but at a higher level. Nicole Randall, Fort Benning TV.